in terms of your process when you're when you're giving a keynote because I've been watching many of them I'm curious about how you prepare for these things I have my own theories but I'd like for you to talk about that if you if you uh, if you can all right so something I innovated about 25 years ago mm -hmm. is a different way to use PowerPoint and I wrote a book called really bad PowerPoint a booklet and in it I said you should never put bullets in a PowerPoint presentation because if you want to give me words, send me a memo. But PowerPoint is great at showing me pictures. And then I can say the words with my voice or I can send you a memo. So now I can go to both parts of your brain, the part of your brain that's going to see the picture of the cow in the pasture mm -hmm. and the part of your brain that's going to hear the words about what that means. And so my presentation now, it changes every time, but it has between 150 and 250 slides in it that I cover in 40 five or 50 minutes. And so every one of those pictures reminds me of a story. And I tell the story differently every time, depending on who I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. Right. But so that's my template. Now, one out of every five times, that's not what I do. One out of every five times, I either don't use any slides at all, or do all new ish material. Mm -hmm. But most of the people who hire me to give a talk, would prefer I do something that works as opposed to something that has never been tested before. Right. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't bore me that I have greatest hits. Yeah. It pleases me that I have greatest hits. And I feel like I can deliver those greatest hits in a way that's coherent, that fits in with my new ideas and my old ones, mm -hmm. and that resonate with people. And what I have found is even people who have seen my stuff more than once, and I would put you in that category, don't say to me, it's boring the second time, which is what they'd be saying if I was a comedian. But they say to me, oh, I saw something in this the second time I didn't realize that was there. Right. And so that's what I'm trying to do is open the door for people to have a conversation after I leave. Mm -hmm. I would like to change what happens around the conference room table after I'm done. 